Okay, now I am done with the design of my start form. What I want to do is go to the project window and I would want to move the start form into the forms folder. Now I go back to get player request and in the show form activity, I would want to show the start form. Looks all nice. I, I hit control S to save. Now I'm going to have two log messages for best practice. I'm going to have the first log message here. Log level should be info type. I'm going to copy and put another log message below and I'm good. Control S to save. Now I place a breakpoint on the second log message. And I want to debug this workflow. So I'm going to hit debug. Now you can see your form nice. And you would notice that the form appears nicely, but there are no values for difficulty and type of questions because these fields are supposed to be drop down. It's supposed to be a drop down list and it's supposed to contain values. All right. So let's go add values to these fields. So I'm going to close out of this and stop the process. Now to add values, I can do this in my start form. I could go to the difficulty field component, click edit, go to data and add the values here. The values I expect are hard, medium and easy. I hit save. Control S to save the form, go back to the get player request and I debug this. Now we can see our form appears nicely with the difficulties hard, medium or easy. Now the second way to add values to a field is through variables. And I highly recommend that we use this way. So close out of this, stop the process. Here we have to create a variable in the body of our get player request. And you want to call this variable list of difficulty types. You want to make the variable type and array of string. If you can't see an array of string, then you have to go select it from here. It means you haven't used it before. So hit array and go to string. Hit OK. Control S to save. Now what you want to do next is set the value here. So in, a, in an assign, I'm going to bring in an assign. You want to set the list of difficulty types to the array value. Okay, looks all good. And I hit save. Control S to save. The next thing I want to do is head back to my start form and hit edit. Go back to data. I can delete all these because I do not need them anymore. Hit save control S because I will be passing the data into that form dynamically to generate list of items on the drop down. So in my show form activity, I expand on the argument section and for the difficulty field, I switch this to an array of string and I set its value to the list of difficulty types. I hit save, control S to save, and I debug this. And you can see that the difficulties appear nicely. Now we're going to do the same for the question types field. So I'm going to close out of this and I stop the process. Head to my variable panel and I create a variable list of question types of an array of string, just like I did for list of difficulty types. Now I bring in an assign and I want to set list of question types to all the question types that I expect. I expand on this, I set the values. 
looking good. I hit save. Control S to save. And that looks good. Now, the next thing I want to do is pass in the values into the show form. So I expand on the show form and the question type field. I switch it to an array and I pass in the value of the list of question types. I hit save, save out of this, control S to save, and I debug this. And now we can see that our form co comes with the values for list of question types and the difficulty as hard, medium, or easy. Looking cool.